the strap. Designer Notes, Subject 55. This video is brought to you in part by Zelos Watches. Exotic. This word originally came from the Greek word exotikos, meaning outside and foreign. For something to be exotic today, it needs to be out of the ordinary, something not seen or known by the vast majority. For a watch to be tagged in any sense of the word as exotic, it would have to be truly foreign to your eyes. Let me introduce you to the Zealous Swordfish, exotic. Microbrand Marquis Zelos recently, out of circumstance, released a small variant of an already small line of watches, the Zelos Swordfish. Just looking at all the models within the Swordfish line, you will immediately notice that they are all sold out and that they are made mostly of exotic materials. This version of the Swordfish, though, is a little bit more unique. Like, comment, and subscribe for content you'd like to see next. Follow us on Instagram at Designatelier Aruba for behind the scenes content. Submit your pics and videos to Designatelier Viewer at gmail.com. We have the now expected sports watch dimensions at the 42mm in case diameter, 48mm lug to lug span, and thickness of 13mm. It's a hefty looking watch, even though the specifications may seem decent. We can attribute this perception on all of the watch. Most of the lines project upwards and sideways. The lug width here is 22mm. This is very ideal for strap changing. The included bracelet tapers ever so slightly, thus contributing to the hefty profile of the swordfish. It wears big and prominent. It's solid looking and equally robust. The crown and lugs are big and thick. This watch will take the toughest beatings and can dive deep with its 300m of water resistance rating. The bracelet is very comfortable because of the smaller links. There is ample sizing opportunity to fit all wrist sizes. Each of the links is held together with very secure screws. It makes it easier to remove links and feel confident that it will be held together. There is a slight chamfer on the sides of each link with a very nice flat surface. This flat surface cascades light beautifully. It reminds everyone of that certain iconic sports watch. <clears throat> Royal Oak. This sheen is not so flashy as a brushed stainless steel bracelet. There is a subtle gray or darker tone to a titanium metal. The lines of the center links extend all the way to the clasp with the matted center stripe of the clasp logo. This particular model uses the new and improved easy adjust clasp with the crisp zealous logo and engravings. Many remark that this is too sharp to the touch. But for many people, this is actually a welcome detail that displays the quality of the Zealous watches. There is this ratcheting micro-adjustment feature that is very easy to use, and of course, the trusty double-button trigger mechanism. Both buttons are needed to be pushed to release the clasp. The bridge and clasp itself is milled and thick, providing serious fastening. The bracelet is also held together to the case by a dual quick-release spring bar setup. This is one of the best spring bars in the sub $1,000 market at the moment. It's so easy to swap out bracelets with these spring bars. And of course, Zealous packages many of these swordfishes with an extra set of Horween leather straps. Really, it's like getting two watches in one. A tremendous value proposition. The bezel is well made and very solid to the touch. The ratcheting action of this 120-click bezel is very satisfying without being too grindy. 
there's no backplay nor alignment issues on this one. The grips have large notches that provide adequate traction and matches the angular design cues of the watch. The bezel insert here is slightly narrower, which makes the dial appear a bit bigger than it actually is. Inside this timepiece is a Seiko NH35 movement with a color match date wheel. This of course is an industry leader in reliability and accuracy against multiple price points. The movement hacks and hand winds. We rambled enough about the swordfish's familiar features. What's so exotic about it? Well, really, just look at it. That bezel insert's oxidation pattern provides such a foreign, no, otherworldly charm to it. This is a Damascus bezel insert. Damascus is a forging technique of folding metals into numerous layers before slicing and grinding them sideways. This creates a unique swirling pattern that is never the same for each folded batch. It's like making a fingerprint out of metal. The Damascus, however, uses the much more durable and corrosion-resistant metal of titanium, hence the Damascus moniker. But that's not all. To achieve this magnificent oxidation, Zealous had to mix grade 2 and grade 5 titanium metals. After forging them together, they have to be torched in varying temperatures that gives it these distinct colors and patterns. Titanium itself is not a common material that's used on a watch. It may be getting used more and more today, but compared to the number of stainless steel watches out there, titanium can still be considered exotic. The case and bracelet in this swordfish is made of titanium, making it corrosion resistant and significantly lighter than the watches with similar proportions. Titanium is not the only exotic metal in this watch. Look very closely at the dial. Deep under this blue application is a slice of meteorite. Meteorite is comprised of various metals that naturally form a crystal-like pattern. This is called the Widman-Staten pattern. This dial was then covered with a blue matte lacquer. On certain light angles, this pattern shines through, while on some, it shimmers like metal. While we're on the dial, we might as well mention the sandwich-styled indexes that is filled with C3 Super Luminova. The minute markers, hands, and even the bezels is generously dressed with luminous paint. This provides functionality despite the exotic build of this diver. Another material worth mentioning is, of course, the sapphire crystal that covers the watch face, providing superior scratch resistance. So much is already unique about this watch. Not only is the material truly one of its kind and no two models are alike, this particular version of the swordfish was not intended at all. This was supposed to be a full meteorite dial and bezel. However, when the lacquer application reacted with the epoxy coat, it created uneven patches on the meteorite bezel inserts. Zealous had to do something about the bezels. Because of this mishap, Elshin decided to use a Damascus bezel insert to spice things up. Roughly 120 pieces of this particular model will be produced, while 10 of the blue meteorite dial with the blue meteorite bezel actually survived the production. But arguably, the most unusual thing about this swordfish is how the color of the Damascus is achieved. The torching process is really a skill that needs to be honed and developed. A moment too soon, and you won't get the right hue of blue. Too much, and you might end up with something worthy of the trash bin. That's interesting already by itself. I challenge you to find another watch that has such a handcrafted feature at this price point. But all of this is elevated to a whole different level when you find out that it's actually El Shintang that torches every single Damascus case and bezel. This exotic watch that you see on your screen is not only as unique as it can be in materials used and craftsmanship, but it's also personally signed or should we say burned by the founder of the company itself. Now that's exotic. <laughs>